The vast Navajo Nation has unique beauty, but beyond the land, there's a crisis affecting countless families. I never ever imagined myself as a mom to go looking for my child and being told that he was murdered. 23-year-old Zachariah Shorty grew up in Farmington playing football and loving music. His mom, Vanjie Randall Shorty, is a preschool teacher and mother of three. My oldest son passed away five years ago from a DWI car crash, you know, which he was driving. Vanjie says his death hit Zach hard. Zach became alcohol and drug dependent and became suicidal. You know, he, he had a close relationship with his brother and his sister. They were best friends. Eventually, Zach's drug abuse got him into trouble, but they worked through it. It did not matter. My love for him was unconditional and I stood beside him. You know, I was his voice then and I'm his voice now. The last time Vanjie saw her son was on July 21st of 2020. She dropped him off at the Journey Inn to make music with friends. At 1130 that night, his friends called her saying Zach walked out and never came back. Immediately, we took our vehicles and started searching and drove throughout the night looking, looking. I waited for him to walk through those doors to call me, you know, up to this day, it's hard. You know, I still answer unknown numbers, hoping that he's on the other side. The next week, police showed up with the bad news. <laughs> and they told me that Zach was found. But they couldn't tell her when or where. She was in the dark until she'd received his death certificate. I found out the place he was found by going to Nanzad and going from house to house on my own. Through the process, she says she felt neglected. I felt so alone, you know, and now I know that I am not alone because there are others out there still searching for their families and still searching for, you know, answers to the murders of their loved ones. Now she wants to raise awareness. We're crying out for help here, you know. Look at all those murdered and unsolved cases. In her fight for answers, there's one thing Vanjie has now that she didn't before. I have a new family now, and that is the women here. You know, they're my strength and they're my support, and we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue. Reporting in Farmington, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. Our effort to tell the stories and the missing continues next week. Learn the story behind one mother's search for answers Monday at 6.